Right wing boards now at the point. Cole Hauser threw it at the net. It was deflected below the goal line. Picked up by the Kings. Ben Berard back to the point. Cole Hauser looking in. Shot deflects in. <laughs> Kyle Betts has his first point in six games, and the Kings lead 1-0. Earhart looking to make an impact in his first game with the Kings. Steen centering pass, Hunter Finlay to throws it at the rebound chance, they score! Josh Koblenz has his second goal of the season. 12.56 remaining in the first period. The Kings lead 2-0. McCarrick sends it down the boards below the goal line. Lawson gets control just over two minutes into the period. 30 seconds left on the Kings power play. Raffler to McCarrick. Left face off. Circle scores! A beautiful shot by Curtis McCarrick. His ninth goal of the season ties his career high. And the Kings lead 3-0, 2-10 into the second period. Joined alongside now by Kings assistant coach Brock Sawyer. And coach, I think that was a pretty solid bounce back effort by our team after yesterday's game. Yeah, I mean, we did a lot of great things today. You know, obviously it came out flying and uh, got an early goal. And, um, you know, we were moving pucks and we were hungry down low. I think you could see a lot more jump in our step tonight. And uh, that was the difference. I mean, we controlled uh, a lot of that game just by dominating puck possession time. And, and we were hungry. So, um, yeah, it, it was a good team effort. Speaking of uh, early goals, that was six straight periods up until that third period. You guys got early goals going back to Sunday's uh, overtime goal against Alberni. Six straight periods you guys got a goal within the first few minutes. And I know slow starts was something that was a bit of an issue for your team the last couple of games. But now it seems like maybe that trend has been bucked a little bit. I, I hope so. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's always nice when you can come out and start a period fresh and, and, and a little bit jump and, and you, you catch a break by working hard and, um, you know, you find the back of the net. So, um, you know, it, it, I mean... We still got a lot of things in our game. We got to clean up, obviously. Uh, you know, a great effort today by guys, you know, holding them to less than 25 shots, which is, which is a goal we set. And um, I think we held them to 21 today, and, and they had 25 last night. So it uh, obviously, you know, a, a solid team effort. And uh, I mean, we, we, were, we were a lot better today. We were hungrier. Uh, we were feistier. We played with some jam. Uh, our puck possession was good, and we were moving the puck uh, in our neutral zone pretty quickly. And um, you know, even even getting out of our zone was was pretty crisp. So, you know, give the guys credit. They knew it was at stake. And, um, you know, dropping one last night, obviously they, they hate losing in this building in front of our home fans. So they knew uh, we had to come out with, with a better effort. And, you know, they did they did that today. A couple of players have years to talk about. Maybe starting with Kyle Betts, who was on a six-game pointless streak, longest streak of his career. Picks up a big goal early there in the first period to get himself back on track. And I'm sure a big goal for your team, not only that, but also for Kyle to sort of get a feel for scoring goals again. Oh, man, no, he just, you know, he works so hard. I mean, he, he takes a beating, um, you know, because he, he just, he works. He's got to be one of the hardest guys to play against because his feet never stop moving. He's just always around that puck. Um, whether it's, you know, on the forecheck, on the back check, or, or it just, you know, anywhere on the ice, he, he's around it creating something. So, I mean, you know, he does take a lot of abuse, but um, he, he also, you know, he earns those chances and, and gets those, you know, the nice tip in today by going to the net with a stick, you know, stick in a, in a pre uh, presentable spot for the D-men and obviously he gets uh, a piece on it and, and a breakaway late. I mean, um, you know. He just told Kent after he said, uh, I'm never going low blocker again, like you told me. So, um, no, but I mean, just, a, you know, a phenomenal work ethic and, and for him to get a goal. And, you know, I didn't realize it had been six games, but uh, no, I mean, that that's great. And uh, another solid effort by him. And then Josh Coleman's as well, getting a goal for the first time since up in Prince George. Also made a, a, a big save there in the first period, sending or stopping what looked like a wide open net. So a good game for him as well. With some depth scoring, such a good uh, faceoff guy and two-way player and sort of sowed both ends of his uh, play that time. No, for sure. I mean, he's a very intelligent player. And, and, and you know, it's uh, we're, we're looking at our lineup and we said he needs to play a bit more. And you saw him a bit on the wall tonight and a bit, uh, you know, in the middle with some with some different wingers, uh, sets of wingers. So, no, I mean, you know, a very, very smart, good, uh, smart player and, and sees the ice very well and can, can dish the puck as well. And, you know, in the right spot at the right time, just thinking one step ahead and, and to be there for the rebound. So, 
Um, you know, you mentioned the, the goal in Prince George. That's all we needed that day. So, um, you know, nice to see him get a second. And obviously, you know, a, a solid game by him. And, I mean, even uh, Zach Earhart joining us from Campbell River today came in and played his first game in, in our jersey. And I think it was his third in the BCHL. But, um, you know, just a lot of energy, uh, feistiness around the puck and, and some smart plays with with the biscuit and, and finding lanes to present himself uh, as a passing option on a breakout. And, uh I mean, you know, just everybody picking up their game today and taking our game to another level. I mean, obviously, I said we still have some uh, some things we need to tidy up just with, uh, you know, where we're placing pucks and, and holding the blue line, not allowing teams to enter our zone as, as easily as they have been. But, uh, you know, that'll come. This was game 30 on a 58-game schedule, so just past the halfway mark of the season. Now, maybe a tough question, but how would you rate your team halfway through the season? Uh, it is a loaded question. Um, <laughs> no, I mean, we've been happy. It's... Um, you know, as of late, yes, we've been winning games, but we haven't been winning games in, in, in the proper manner. I mean, sometimes we've just been hanging on. Um, other times, you know, we've got off to a slow start and had to battle back. But, um, you know, I, I think over the first 30 games, like you mentioned, it's when we're dialed in and ready and we're focused, we can really, you know, really, really do some great things and um, evident of so, some big wins, obviously. Um, you know, you think of Wenatchee in the showcase, uh you know, Victoria here at home, a 2-1 overtime, and then a 5-2 win, a, a bounce back after a loss. Um, you know, the Prince George game where we got outshot big time, but, um, you know, we were solid defensively that day and where they were always just throwing anything at the net. So, um, no, I mean, it, it's it's been it's been good. It's been fun. I mean, there's been, you know, a lot of ups and downs, but uh, when you start 0-4 and you come back, and I believe we w w were 19 10 Night, yeah, well, 19, 10. So in, in our last probably start 0 4. So in our last 25 games, we're probably 19, uh, 6 and 1, I believe it is. So I mean that that's pretty good hockey. So obviously, you know, you, you have a, a tough start to the season and, and you stay the course and you know guys begin to buy in and, and see what the team's about and get familiar in the program and get settled in town. Obviously, um, you know it, it's good good hockey and it's uh, guys just doing the right things every day and that's the biggest thing. It's um, you know, we're, we're still growing as, as, as a unit and as a team. And um, obviously you can see when we don't come out it's, and we're flat, teams take it to us. But, uh, you know, I mean, that stems just from, from being a, an everyday player and, uh, you know, preparing to go to college or to the next level. It's, uh, you know, being an everyday player and that's in practice and in the gym and then on the ice. So, um, no, it's been uh, it's been a fun group to work with so far. And it's it's hard to believe it's it's already halfway through the season. But, uh, you know, from the midway point, uh, been pretty successful. and We've been pretty happy. Big bounce back effort here tonight. Coach, congratulations on the win. We'll talk to you next weekend. Thank you. Yeah, big trip next weekend. So yeah. we'll uh, prepare and obviously, you know, it's a little time on the bus, but uh, no, it'll be good to get back out on the road after a nice homestand. So thank you to all our fans who've come and supported us. And uh, obviously today, five full for food as well. So uh, thanks for having me.